Hi, have you been diagnosed with something called as Addison's disease and wondering what it is? Now, Addison's disease is a condition where steroid hormones, namely corticosteroids and certain other hormones that are produced from the adrenal glands are not being produced in adequate amounts in the body. Now, where are these adrenal glands? These adrenal glands are tiny little glands that are present just above the kidney, very small glands. They produce certain very, very important hormones. The number one hormone that it produces is something called as cortisol. Now, cortisol is a hormone which maintains the body's blood pressure and composure, especially during the periods of stress. It, it also produces certain hormones called as aldosterone, which is necessary for maintenance of the blood pressure throughout the day. It also produces a hormone called as adrenaline or cortic, uh, adrenaline. So the adrenaline also comes from the adrenal glands. Now there are certain conditions where the adrenal glands don't function properly. The number one reason for Addison's disease is autoimmune. Autoimmune means there is some genetic problem in the body. It's a, there is a problem in the gene that was there at birth time only which has manifested at one particular age. Uh, because of that what happens is over a period of time the cortisol levels and other hormones that are produced from the adrenal glands they start coming down. The other common causes for Addison's disease are in a person who has suffered from tuberculosis. So tuberculosis as you know is not a condition which affects only the lungs is it not? It also affects certain other areas of the body. One of them can be the adrenal glands. There are certain tumors like lymphoma, there are certain severe um, septicemias with certain bacteria which also cause this particular uh, condition. Another cause which is not directly related to adrenal glands but is related to the master gland that is pituitary gland can also cause Addison's disease. So if there is some bleeding within the pituitary or the pituitary is not functioning because of some growth over there, that can also directly affect the adrenal gland and cause Addison's disease.